welcome to our new learning. Uh, this time we have another topic which is uh, single phase voltage drop calculation. Uh, 230 volts, uh, tow pole, and then 60 hertz. So when you see voltage drop, this refers in determining the difference in electrical potential or the voltage between two points in a circuit uh, caused by the resistance of the conductors and current flowing through them which can lead to power loss and reduce performance so it is clear that itong voltage da uh, voltage drop ito yung uh, parang power losses which can lead to reduce performance we have a load of uh, 10 kilowatts and then we have also a line current of 49.41 amperes 230 volts to pole and we have power factor of uh, 0.88 and then yung length ta galing sa secondary transformer this one so estimated length niya is uh, 15 meters so yung conductor is uh, 8.0 square mm okay so again we have hot primary yung sa taas the neutral primary so ground wire can do it to bottom of hole so means to say itong voltage drop coming from here so, i-measure natin uh, papunta doon sa kanyang meter panel. Actually, yung meter panel, dyan na mus, uh, mismo naka, nakadikit yung, or malapit na lang yung panel board. Okay, so we have, uh, merong guidelines or code sa PEC, yung mga limitations. We have provisions from PEC from article 2.10.2.2 .2 .2, uh, quantity A so conductors for a branch circuit is defined in article 1.1 size to prevent a voltage drop exceeding 3% at the farthest outlet of power, heating, lighting loads or combinations of such loads where the maximum total voltage drop of both feeders and branch circuit to the farthest outlet does not exceed to 5% provide reasonable efficiency of operation so to interpret that code so from the right side this is your source this is your distribution panel and they're connected with the feeder so the voltage drop Less than or below 3%. From distribution panel up to the farthest load, or known as the tong brand circuit, or less than or equal to 3. So in, and then yung overall total is dapat 5%. So kung yad mo tong dalawa, actually 3 plus 3 is 6, so 6%. So mesta say, simple analogy, pwede ka dito mag. Uh, kahit magkawa ka ng kahit 2% from this branch circuit, pwede kang 3% voltage drop okay, so 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 or pwede ka rito to say uh, 3% or balik rin mo 2% the, the result is 5 okay, so yun yung parang provisions ng Philippine Electrical Code Okay, but before that, we have a formula pa paano gawin yung voltage drop. This is coming from PEC 2017 uh, Appendix D, page 1057. So, this is the basic formula. Voltage drop BD is equals to KDI where K is the constant 2 for single phase 1.73 to 4.3 phase D is for 
uh, distance so express in meters i is the line current in amperes so multiply by square root of r squared r is the resistance where x is the reactance express in ohm so ito yung formula na gamitin natin to calculate dun sa ating problem Okay, so from here, yung location natin is from utility, this one, utility hanggang sa panel board, or itong meter panel. And then yung ating operating voltage is 230 volts. Okay, so yung feeder line natin is dalawang 8.0 square mm. The total wattage, which is 10 kilowatts here, power factor 0.88 uh, load amperes 49.41 amperes yung length express in meters is 115 resistance uh, coming from the PEC 2017 table 10.1.9 so yung gamit natin is uh, conductor wire na uh, copper tanso so, pag 8.0 daw, uh, if you use for the uh, resistance, reading PVC or steel. So, for the meantime, we use steel, which is 0.78 tetos. And then, for line reactance, 0 0.065. So, ang gamit natin is steel. And then, express in ohms, and then yung wire reactance uh, per 305 meters. Okay, so, after that, meron ka ng given, you can proceed with the calculation. Here is the solution. Uh, voltage drop BD is equal to KDI square root of R squared plus X squared. Ito na yun from the formula equation 1. So, we have value of 2 because single phase distance which is 15 15 meters the load up first 49.41 and then multiply by square root of 0.70 square the R square and then the X square which, which is 0 0.065 square and then, multiply siya natin ng 1 over 3 o 5 meters. Based on sa table ng 10.1.9. Uh, so, yung wire reactance sa ka-resistance uh, per 305 meters. So, after calculating, we have a voltage drop of 3.80 volts. And then, to get for the voltage drop, BD in terms of percent so this 3.80 volts let's divide that by our operating voltage which is 230 volts multiply by 100% so yung answer mo naka express in percentage so we have the answer of 1.654% okay so if you look on the those approbations less than or equal to 3% dapat or kahit distance or equal to 2%. But for this time, we have 1.654%, uh, which is uh, less than uh, 2%. So, therefore, yung ating design sa, uh, sa conductor is tama. And then, uh, to get for the receiving voltage, so that is, 230 volts minus 3.80 so we can arrive at 226.20 volts okay, so napansin mo galing sa utility 230 nung pumunta na ng bahay hanggang nabawasan siya ng 3.80 volts so the remaining is uh, 226.20 volts okay so yung receiving power niya that is simply based from, from the formula 
if yung system natin is single phase, to get for the power that is voltage time current times the cosine theta or tinatawag na uh, power factor. So, means to say, itong voltage na 2 to 6.20 times the voltage 230 ano no, times the current 49.41 amperes multiply by the power factor. So, yung result is 9 uh, 834.62 watts at the receiving sa receiving eh, uh, receiving power. And to get for the efficiency, actually, efficiency is the uh, power output over the power input. So, 9 point, no, no, 9834 divided by 10,000 ito na yung ating efficiency na 98.35%. Okay, so that's how you do with the voltage drop calculation hindi lang basta voltage drop lang yung nakukuha natin we can get also the receiving power napansin mo from 10,000 watts at the receiving end 9834 watts na lang so means to see so yung nabawas dyan uh, yun na yung tinatawag na losses Okay, yung losses na yun, depende rin. Uh, maraming factors. Number one, yung length na conductor, yung length na pabaris. Ma mataas yung length, mataas din yung losses, more on the voltage drop. And then, uh, one factor again is yung conductor type, na yung ginamit mo, tanso ba or aluminum. And then, the third is yung uh, installation, paano mo siya ginawa in accordance ba sa PAC and then we're almost done already so uh, quick review na lang again to get for the solve for the voltage drop first identify the given so kunin mo muna itong given na to after that siyempre itong location sa kayong feather with your line. After that, uh, base, uh, refer to the formula. And then, you can arrive the solution. But be careful, ha, pag single piece, value is 2, yung constant. Pag 3 piece is 1.732. After after you calculate, so you can have the voltage drop, uh, 3.80 volts. To get the percentage, just divide by 230. 1.654 volts. Hindi ka pwedeng lalagpas ng 2. Actually, 2 or 3%. Pero para sa akin, kahit until 2% lang. And then, to get the receiving voltage, operating minus the voltage drop, uh, you can have receiving power and then efficiency. So, from this, pwede kang uh, makonclude na tama yung ginagawa mo. Okay, so I hope you understand our, our short content. So please subscribe para kayo applicate sa mga videos. Thank you.